Welcome to Kennedy Now, a look at the progress of change at America's premier spaceport. Kennedy launch teams were on the move in June, launching missions from facilities in California to improve our understanding of the sun and to show young engineers how to make future satellites better. NASA's Launch Services Program, based at Kennedy, processed the agency's IRIS Solar Observatory mission and sent it aloft on a Pegasus rocket on June 27. Vandenberg Air Force Base hosted the Kennedy team so the spacecraft could be put into an orbit that will take it roughly over both of Earth's poles during each revolution. The launch capped a nearly three-week stretch that began when LSP engineers, led by Garrett Scrobot, packed a small booster with tiny but fully functional CubeSats and launched them high above the Mojave Desert. The mission tested four payloads for an orbital mission next year that will see them deployed from a rocket during a cargo resupply mission to the International Space Station. The CubeSats were designed and built by different teams, including one made of high school students from Florida. The students went through the same process as NASA developed during decades of cutting-edge space missions. So even though the booster's flight didn't go exactly as planned, the engineers were still able to recover their payloads and record important data. By trying out experimental systems on small, inexpensive satellites, NASA hopes to show spacecraft designers better ways to build other satellites. Finally, closer to home, the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex lifted the curtain on the Space Shuttle Atlantis exhibit. Atlantis, the final shuttle to fly in space in 2011, is depicted as it was in orbit, with its cargo bay doors open and robotic arm extended. And it, it's my hope that some young boy or girl uh, is going to see Atlantis in there during one of their visits, and it's going to put that spark in them that spark to say, I want to fly, I want to be an astronaut, I want to explore. Surrounded by a theater, dozens of shuttle-era artifacts and scores of simulators, Atlanta shows what has been done and hints at the possibilities of future space exploration. This has been Kennedy Now, 